Meningococcal disease, what should you know? Your pharmacist informs. Meningitis is an inflammation of the meninges, which are the membranes that cover the brain and the spinal cord. Therefore, in today's video tip, we are going to talk about invasive meningococcal disease caused by the bacterium Neisseria meningitis, also known as meningococcus. It is a rare but a very serious disease characterized by this difficult diagnosis and rapid progression that can lead to life threatening complication or even death. One in 10 cases of meningococcal meningitis will die, sometimes within 24 hours despite treatment. And one in five survivors suffers long term consequences such as brain damage, amputation, hearing loss, and nervous system problems. If we look at how it is transmitted, we should know that the bacteria spreads from person to person through droplets of respiratory or through secretions. The spread of the disease is facilitated by close and prolonged contact with an infected person, such as throat kissing, sneezing, coughing, or sharing crockery and cutterly. It is believed that 10 to 20% of the population carries the bacteria. Especially, adolescents are the main carriers and transmitters of the disease due to the typical behavior and social environments in which they live. We are talking about living in shared accommodations such as university residence, attendance to crowded places such as bar discos, and intimate contacts. As for the initial sign and symptom of meningococcal meningitis, these are usually varied and non-specific and can lead to added and difficulty in diagnosis. The most common symptoms are high fever, headache, photophobia, nausea and vomiting, stiff neck and confusion. Meningitis is a disease that in more than 95% of cases occurs in previously healthy people, with no known risk factors. Furthermore, although we know that it can affect any age, it is a disease that predominantly affects children appearing most frequently in children under five years of age, and especially in infants under one year of age, followed by a second peak of incidence in adolescents. In Spain, according to the latest official data available, 346 confirmed cases of meningococcal meningitis were reported in 2017-2018, or the same as 0.74 cases for 100,000 people. Regarding the existing treatment for meningococcal meningitis, we should know that once the infection has occurred, it can be treated with antibiotics. But because its evolution can be very rapid, these drugs may not be effective in the treatment of meningococcal meningitis. That is why prevention through the medicine more commonly known as vaccines is a key element in the fight to defeat meningococcus. Currently, three types of vaccine are available in Spain to prevent disease caused by the main meningococcal serogroups. A, B, C, W, and Y. Vaccines that are also included as prevention of meningococcal meningitis at different ages in the National Immunization Program 2023 agreed by the Ministry of Health. Do not forget that vaccines require a medical prescription, i.e. they must be prescribed by the physician for the dispensation, and must always be used in accordance with official recommendations. In addition, they are not irreplaceable, so with the prescription we will ensure that we always dispense the same preparation and complete the regimen correctly. And remember, always ask your trusted pharmacist. We will help you and answer any question you may have about vaccines. Remember, for any queries, go to your pharmacy and ask for advice to your pharmacist. <laughs>